Welcome back. You're watching News Night. Niti Aayog today said that public sector units uh, to be uh, put up for strategic sale have been identified, and now it is up to the Finance Ministry to start the process of their disinvestment. Meanwhile, Information Technology Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad announced a slew of measures for cyber security in the country, including the establishment of a national cyber coordination center. The announcement came on the second and final day of the Economic Editors Conference. The last year, the two-day editors conference hosted a number of ministers who spoke about various issues concerning the economy. The day started with Information and Broadcasting Minister M. Venkai Naidu calling demonetization a historic step and a game-changing measure that will help clean the system from black money. I only appeal to all, including media and opposition parties, please don't create unnecessary apprehension in the minds of the people. Genuine problems are being addressed. There is regular monitoring of the situation by the Finance Ministry, Reserve Bank. And all these are part of the Prime Minister's ease of doing business, reasoning the public life. Union Minister of Electronics and IT, Ravi Shankar Prasad, talked about how his government announced a slew of measures to reduce the digital divide in the country and how poor must be brought under the digital net. He said due to Aadhaar card, government has been able to save 36,000 crore rupees. As of 31st of October, government has issued 107 crore Aadhaar cards in the country. The IT minister also announced major initiatives for cyber security, including establishment of 1,000 crore rupees in National Cyber Coordination Center. Cyber security, we have decided that all organizations having a significant IT profile must appoint a cyber security officer. We have made a decision for cyber security officer. और हमने ऑल एक काम किया है कि हमने ऑडिटर्स की सूची बनाई है विच इज ऑनलाइन कि द थर्ड पार्टी ऑडिट ऑफ द आईटी प्रोफाइल ऑफ ए कंपनी एड्रेसिंग द इकोनॉमिक एडिटर्स कॉन्फ्रेंस नीति आयोग वाइस चेयरमैन अरविंद पणगरिया आउटलाइन द वेरियस पॉलिसी सजेशंस मेड बाय द थिंक टैंक एंड ही वाज ऑप्टिमिस्टिक दैट सम ऑफ दीस बिग टिकट रिफॉर्म्स आर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वी एडजुडिकेट बिटवीन द स्टेट्स एंड द सेंट्रल मिनिस्ट्रीज so there are often many pending issues of the states uh, which uh, have not been cleared by the center central government needs to send answers but these are lagging behind and all so generally what we uh, we provide a facility under which the state can you know uh, uh, collect all its pending issues generally these are you know 25 to 30 issues that they collect together uh, and they can send it to us the two days ats conference aimed at bringing business editors from various delis across the country on one platform and bring regional issues to forefront. Sudhan Simple, DD News, New Delhi. Days after the government demonetized 500 and 1,000 currency notes, people continued to throng banks, ATMs and post offices in large numbers, even as they welcomed a government's crackdown on black money. Banks said that it would still take a few days before ATMs become fully functional, even as the RBI urged people to be patient. Concessions allowed for use of old 500 and 1,000 rupee notes have been extended till the 14th of November, even as the government is not letting up its guard on unscrupulous elements trying to circumvent government's demonetization decision. It was the second day of exchange of old demonetized 500 and 1,000 rupee notes for new. And now, long queues were not only seen outside banks, but also outside ATMs. But ATMs too had their limitations and they ran out of cash quickly. People turned to every avenue available to them to change their old notes for new. Banks, post offices, ATMs, everywhere they went, they were confronted with large numbers of humanity looking for the same things they were. In the national capital, people stood in line since the early morning to change their money, waiting patiently for their turn. In Chantani Chowk area, rapid action force personnel had to be deployed as a precautionary measure in case the crowds literally got out of line. Banks had said that cash could be withdrawn from ATMs from Thursday night itself. But in many parts, ATMs were out of service for want of currency, leading to people's consternation rising. But despite the trouble, people are still happy with the move to demonetize the notes. Where I believe that this is right, because there will be a lot of black money that will come in front of you. It is now gone, in fact. I require the money today, but I cannot stand here in the line for 90 people means about three hours I have to stand. So the government or the bank people, they should do. The banks say that it would take a few more days before ATMs become fully functional. In Mumbai too, there were long queues outside banks and lengthy queues outside ATMs. 
but many people were disappointed to see out of service signs this is the second day of uh, getting your notes exchanged and we are at a bank where people are coming and getting their notes exchanged uh, people are also depositing uh, the 500000 notes directly into their uh, accounts and the bank officials are facilitating uh, the entire process and they are taking all necessary steps meanwhile the reserve bank of india has said that banks do have sufficient cash available with them and has urged the public to be patient The SBI has said that after the 500 and 1000 rupee notes being withdrawn until noon of November 11 53000 crore rupees had been deposited into the bank meanwhile in Jammu and Kashmir people were seen queuing up to withdraw money from ATMs in Baramula in Patna people went to post offices to change their money as well paise ke liye problem mein ghum rahe the purana paisa chal nahi raha hai 500 rupya hai mere paas purana lekin koi dukandar le nahi raha tha kal se main problem mein tha aaj mera samasya hal hua hai The government has given several concessions to people. Use of old notes, valid and rail and air ticket purchases is one of them. Some people were seen taking advantage of these concessions too. However, to prevent money laundering, these tickets are not refundable and cannot be cancelled. These concessions will now continue till the 14th of November. We have already issued a circular that any cancellation involving refunds for the bookings done from 9th to 11th november will be will not be refunded in cash but it will go to his bank account prime minister narendra modi on thursday had said that he was happy to know that people had accepted the change despite the temporary hardship they would have to face the prime minister assured the people that government is making every effort to end corruption and fight against black money main manta hu ki iske paridam swarup yahan par भारत की राजनीति केवल राजनीति नहीं नहीं बल्कि जो शासन और प्रशासन का भी भ्रष्टाचार काफी हद तक कम होगा और इतना ही नहीं अमीर और गरीब के बीच की भी खाई कम होगी वेरियस गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स आल्सो आर वर्किंग ओवर टाइम टू इंप्लीमेंट दीस मेजर्स गवर्नमेंट आल्सो सेस द डिसीजन विल ब्रिंग डाउन इन्फ्लेशन सो आई वुड इमेजिन दैट एब्सेंट एनी एक्शन बाय द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया दैट वुड रिड्यूस द इन्फ्लेशन रेट Uh, very likely though i would expect that the reserve bank of india will do some open market operations to replace at least partially this money supply despite the government's best efforts the opposition parties are questioning the rationale of the decision the bjp <laughs> has hit back at its critics 7 tarikh tak jo sawal puchte the hame ki narendra modi sarkar ne kale dhan ke liye kya kiya wo aaj kale dhan par jo kada prahar hua hai usse bokhlaye hue hain मैं पूछना चाहता हूं बसपा की अध्यक्षा को मुलायम सिंह जी को राहुल गांधी जी को केजरीवाल जी को कि आपको क्यों पीड़ा हो रही है किस बात की पीड़ा है आपसे राजनीति स्वच्छ होगी अमित द पॉलिटिकल ब्लेम गेम वन थिंग इज क्लियर दैट दिस इज अ डिसाइसिव एंड बोल्ड स्टेप टू गेट रिड ऑफ ब्लैक मनी एंड द पब्लिक डिस्पाइट देयर टेंपरेरी हार्डशिप्स आर वेल अवेयर दैट इन द लॉन्ग रन सच अ स्कीम कैन ओनली पर्ज द इकॉनमी ऑफ इट्स मैनिपुलेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंसेस न्यूज़ नाइट डेस्क डीडी न्यूज़